What up, y'all? It's your man, D Real, the Black Panther, stalking the urban jungle, bringing you another podcast of Be Real with D Real. I'm that D Real cat. What's up? Uh, this is the first podcast in February. Happy Black History Month, but Black History is every month, not just fucking February. All right, today I want to get into something fun. Uh, because there's been way, 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 way too much unfun stuff going on. So I want to take a little bit of little bit of the tenseness out of what's been going on for the past couple of months and, and put a little mirth into your life. Uh, before I get started, I want to, um, oh, look at that. Uh, before I get started, I want to shout out all of my peoples who have decided to come in and join me today. I got my man. Oh, look, look at Prof. Oh, he, he dyed his beard and everything. Look at you. What's up, fellas? Hey, why you trying to air my man out? Why you got to air him out on the air, though? Hey, because I that? love him. And he is, he's like a, he's like a, he's like a, 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 a Kansas City treasure. So, 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 so I can kind of mess with him like that. What's up, bro? Uh, hold on, hold on, man. I didn't know you introduced me already. I didn't know you introduced me already. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> let, let me get started because I got I got everybody in a nice gallery view. Uh I got my man uh Cuff Fast, uh DJ, MC, Kansas City, hip hop, bloodline supreme, all things hip hop, all things rap. That's who you want to go to. Uh down here is my man Prop T. Uh, that man needs no introduction. All I need to do is say low key. Shit, man. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. And of course, my man, my big homie over there, Big Nub, always coming with the insight that nobody else cited. So, without further ado, we are going to do the 10 greatest black sitcom of all time. Now, to, to get rid of the, the other five, 400 other sitcoms that there were that could have fell into this criteria, um, we got to have guidelines, okay? Now, I said I, I ran the guidelines down, down to Nub the other day, and I think I, I messaged them to you, Prof. I think. If I don't, you know what? We got like two and a half hours. Here we go. Um, okay. First criteria, of course, naturally, <laughs> it's got to be funny, okay? Uh, there are a lot of black sitcoms out there that are good, but there are a lot of sit black sitcoms out there that ain't funny. So they, they, they probably won't make the cut, okay? <laughs> because it's a situation comedy, hence the shortening sitcom, there's got to be a message, a moral in it, okay? Whether that message or moral is humorous, whether that message or moral is serious, it has to have that in there to, to drive the story along, okay? Um, and of course, because, because it's Black sitcoms, it's got to encapsulate the Black experience. What is the Black experience? If I look at it and it don't look Black to me, it don't smell Black to me, it don't taste black to me. It don't make me go, that's a black sitcom. Then it does not encapsulate the black experience. Um, and then when we get to, to, to like the physical criteria, seasons, okay? You have to, in, in order to get in this dance, you have to have at least four seasons under your belt as a sitcom. Okay, just like Super Bowl, we can't even talk about you till you don't want four. You know what I'm saying? So until you hey, win boy, four, hey, boy. you know you asking a lot, boy. Four seasons for a black sitcom. Woo! But, but watch this. Here's where y'all get to jump in. I am going to run down the 21 sitcoms that I have listed. And what y'all can do, if I ain't covered everything y'all like, Throw it in there. It, but bear in mind, got to have at least four seasons of it. Okay? And, and at any time, somebody in this group might go, eh, I don't know about that one, dog. And we can talk about it. We can talk about it. That's what this is. All right? So, no further ado, 
and in no particular order. Number one, Family Matters ran for nine seasons from 89 to 98. The Jamie Foxx show ran for five seasons from 96 to 2001. What the hell? Hey, huh? <laughs> no, I was just doing uh, his line. What the hell? Oh. You remember he used to that, he made <laughs> okay, that pop. Okay. He made okay. that pop. Uh, and one y'all might not have remembered, hanging with Mr. Cooper, ran for five seasons, 92 to 97. Five? Yeah, exactly. yeah okay. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, the Wayans Brothers, from 95 to 99. Uh. Moesha from 96 to 2001, 227 from 85 to 90, The Bernie Mac Show from 2001 to 2006, Everybody Hates Chris, 2005 to 2009, Girlfriends, 2000 to 2008. Good times. 74 to 79, Living Single, 93 to 98, The Jeffersons, 75 to 85, Sanford and Son, 72 to 77, Martin, 92 to 97, A Different World, 87 to 93, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, 90 to 96, The Cosby Show, 84 to 92, Blackish, 2014, still currently going. Okay, um, and that's So Raven, 2003, 2007. Now I have two that I would like to add, um, but based on the criteria, I wanted to be cool with y'all. The first one, Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids. Technically, it meets that criteria that I just mentioned to y'all. And it ran from 72 to 85. Right. And different strokes. 78 to 85. Now. I don't know, Undine. <laughs> I don't know if I would make it. So. My question to you gentlemen, should Different Strokes and Fat Albert be included on this list? Okay. Uh, Is there a spot so we don't talk over each other? Well, um, okay, Big Nub, we'll start with you, sir. Uh, well, he was already talking, so he can finish. I was just asking. I didn't want to talk over top of nobody. But you just did. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm going to have to hard pass on Fat Albert because it was an animated-ish series and not necessarily a sitcom in my book. You know, oh, it didn't come on in the traditional sitcom, you know, time slot. Sometimes during the week, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a time frame for sitcoms and Saturday mornings wasn't it. Uh... I also thought of another fun way where we won't step on each other. Mute your microphone. So when you want to talk, you can unmute your microphone. Then that way we won't step on each other. Look at technology. All right. So well, I, I don't know. Am I, do I get a chance? Okay. First of all, <clears throat> thanks for bringing me on. Uh, Cut. What's up, baby? I love this beard. You looking, man, that's. Wow, it's nice. <laughs> you doing it? Got man. the future. Hey, got the future champs. The, right. I'm sorry, the future repeating champs on my head, babe. Yeah, I'm going to get to this part. This part. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and yo, big nub. What's up? I, I, I'm I'm dealing. I'm I'm digging what you got going on here too, man. I'm just I'm just feeling uh insufficient right here y'all looking y'all rocking the gray oh, right hey Thank you, nobody Thank you. told you to die yours though you know oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we hair don't run in our family but anyway uh yeah i know right yeah i ain't taking it out. 
Uh, but I, you know, Big Nub may have a point, although it's, well, yeah, he may have a point. Because it's funny because the Flintstones ran in prime time. Yeah. And the Simpsons. And the Simpsons. Oh, of course, everything since. Exactly. So, yeah, years, gotcha. Years. Right. He is right about the time clock thing. Yeah. So maybe that kind of. Uh, Maybe it's weird because then okay, so that's so Raven. That wasn't a prime time. That was a afternoon Disney show, right? Yeah, I already voted that out anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, well, I mean, I, 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 as I look at this list, I look at it and I say to myself, there is a bit of fodder on it that we ain't gonna have no problem waiting through. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, right. Okay. So, right. Right. I mean, right. if if we're saying no to the Cosby kids, all right, I ain't got no problem with that. Um. Yeah. What about uh different strokes? Because uh, me and Nub was talking about this the other day. In order for it to qualify as a quote unquote black sitcom, and if you want to go look it up on Wikipedia or anything else, a black situation comedy is a Situation comedy where the cast is predominantly black. If right. we look at different strokes, it's not. That's not happening. No, it's mm -hmm. actually more white people on the show. Yeah, yes, yes, it it's actually to me. I think it's more. Uh, uh, it's more worldly than black, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, it seems like it was more about the. You know, the world don't move to the beat of just one drum. <laughs> That right there, that line lets you know that it's not black driven as much as it is inclusionary. It's not driven by that. To, it's definitely not driven norm. by that. It was definitely a, a, <laughs> a take that now, as I'm older, looking back on it, is it's like as much as I love Willis and Arnold, you know what I'm saying? But it was like the troubled black youth being saved by this rich white man. Like, what that, you talking that, about, Big Nub? <laughs> what you talking about, Big Nub? What you talking about? <laughs> okay, okay. So, so that's a so that's a no for Arnold and Willie. No, but we could give we could give uh, Cosby and them an honorable mention, though. Well, I, had I was going to say both a, of them. I had, a, I had a couple of I had a couple of honorable mentions. I got two honorable mentions. I might. I might okay, hold on, on, hold on, I man. You didn't ask problem. me. You didn't give cut his chance. You didn't. You didn't ask me. And I Fuck am, them both, but they are honorable mention. To let you speak. All right, I will say to you that uh, I'm, I was just teasing with you, D. I'm going to say to you that uh, uh, I don't know. I do believe that they have to be both given the greatest honorable mention, especially the Cosby kids, because for a lot of us, I mean, you know, we can talk all we want to. That might have been the first time when we watched the Cosby kids, Fat Albert, that we saw Brown. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, the brownest thing we might have saw before that was underdog. Laugh if you wanna. Or the or the uh um the uh uh uh, uh ain't your mama legs on Tom and Jerry, but we didn't see Brown before that, you know. I mean, I'm just being real, man. And that's it. But I can see why they would be excluded. And if we wanted to go animated. Um, if you want to go animated, there's only <laughs> one show to me that would go that way, and that would be the Boondocks. But that would be up to what about Proud Family? That you know that was one of my honorable mentions. Proud Family, okay. Yes. No, Boon Boondocks, Boondocks. Ran for three seasons. Didn't make the cut. Don't say I know, and that's what people, but guess what? The cultural, you know what? Yeah, they won season too late, but that's almost like saying Satchel Page only got in when he was 48 years old. Well, man, he made a hell of an impact in the small time he was there. Now, that's just, you know, that's me, but I understand what the criteria is, and I do believe that they definitely deserve, especially up under Aaron Magruder. All that shit that was made after he left, I don't give a fuck about that. They're, but they're, uh, uh, what he did, what he did and where he put it out, not even mentioning the Source magazine or his college magazine shit that he did, what he did on animated that was actually on TV, that was in prime time, and the way that it affected, might not have affected us as much, but I bet if you were about, let's say, seven years younger than us, oh, 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 oh it hit hey, you. I love the but, but I don't think of it as a situation comedy. It was very adult in nature. 
I get that. I get that. And that's why I say, you know, when it comes to uh, animation, I can also say, you know, I don't know where animation fits in that, but just something I was thinking. I'm good. Okay. Um, and my other I'm honorable sorry, you mention. can't include animation, I think. I, I, because it's funny. I, I, I see what you're saying, Big Nub, about the, the stuff it's talking about. However, it is a comedy. It's yeah, 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 yeah. Dark. It's just dark. It, it is dark. It is. It is. But it is. And that, oh, it's funny as and hell. That that and that reason alone, bro, is why I had criteria because I knew this was gonna come up. Is is uh, well, what about and how come? And so we gotta as much as I, me, I man, I, I was I was reading Boondocks before I was watching Boondocks. Okay, right, really, but. Man. As we if we talk know. about criteria, oh, here you go. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. If we talk doctor. about if we talk about criteria, <laughs> we gotta stick with the criteria. Okay, yeah. right. Because I would love for Rock to be on this list. It's in well, mine. Well, I don't know how you don't have that one. Yeah, how I mean, many seasons it. did he Rock was, run it, for? It should be. It should be. It's, okay. After he got killed by the aliens, the show ended. It, it, it only ran for two, two and a half seasons. Really? Yeah, Rock wasn't on that long. Rock wasn't on long at all. Yeah. He yeah. just made an impact. It dropped like a rock. Yeah, after <laughs> Tone, after out, Tone Low. It was just yeah. gone. After Tone yeah. Low killed that dude, it was over. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> now, that being said, off the top of your head, do you have one you think should be added to this list? Bearing in mind the criteria. Uh, well, I would have had to write down. I got most of what you had there. I'd have to write down some of them because you listed 20, right? I listed 23. Yeah. So, But we got rid of two of them. <sighs> I can't think of one. I can't think of one personally that I would uh, add to the list that I think would be worth it. Because you know the other ones that I think of when I went back and I did some, you know some research before we did the show, they were either hour long things and they weren't situational comedies at all. They were not that. Right. Um, and. Now, there have been some that I've been like, you know, black people were really, really, you know, prominent in it, but it wasn't about the black life and the black experience. So I think this is a good list for us to pick 10 out of and uh, go down and go, OK, these are the top 10. But we can, you know, I feel like we should judge all of them, on the, you know, the merit of which they have to offer us. That's OK. All right. So go ahead, uh I'm sorry. I, I was going to say, what's up with the Steve Harvey show? What's up with the Steve Harvey show? It does meet the criteria. I thought I thought it was a, a pretty funny. I wouldn't be against it. I would not be against that one being uh, put in there because I know he would uh, end up pretty low in the uh, in the voting of it. But yeah, because yeah, it I ran mean, it, it ran for about what five six seasons. Six seasons. I ran? think didn't he go? I thought he went seven. He only went five. I'm, I'm interneting right now, so unless my uh, my Google's is off, and y'all got different Google's in in KC. So. <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, how no, long was it? I'm back where I'm at. It's six seasons. What about the Parkers? You did? Yeah. What about the Parkers? I don't Ooh. know. I'm throwing out some random shows that maybe I don't know if people thought about. Well, it's a group. It's a group. It's a group thing. If y'all with the Parkers, if y'all with Steve Harvey, we can add them. I mean, I'm with him. I'm with, you know what? I'm with putting as many in that actually meet the criteria in order to have a conversation that, you know. How many seasons? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cut. How many seasons did the Parkers run for enough? Uh, the Parkers ran for, damn, I lost it that fast. That's what happened when you get old. Five seasons. They meet. Damn, yep, they have to meet. Yep, they have to. They have to go in. He was chasing after Mr. Ogilvy for a minute, though. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> For real, I guess for real. So. I guess so. I guess so. Hey, did well, she ever get the cheeks? I don't remember. <laughs> I I don't either. 
Um, if we talk about people chasing after people for years and years and years, uh, we got to mention amen. Oh, man. Oh, man. Amen. Because she chased after Pastor for a grip. Yeah, so she got, him. got she him. got him, too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, D, I got to say this, man. Now, I, now I, gotta, I am going to say something. You with your criteria. Oh, okay. Because there's three. I, well, there's two. You already mentioned one. There's two for sure. There's one more sitcom than me. Because are you basing this on how poignant they were too, because to me, if you, if in two seasons, for example, two or three seasons, you left an impact, you left a huge mark. Because to me, Rock, man, Rock went live. Rock was the, one of the few sitcoms that ever went live. That's how brilliant they were in their stage acting. They knew they could do it because they all came from stage. I mean, that show is like one of the most important shows to me in terms of black folks. It's important. And then leave it out because you got this four season thing. It's like, ah, that's rough, well, man. That's a little rough. Because I got two more that are, are well, really well, important. Well, more than anything else, if I include, or if we go ahead and say, let's include all the two seasons and three seasons and, well, and all of that. Base we, it on we, we, will literally, we will literally have a 200 sitcom list <laughs> I, honestly i boiled it down to 10 my 10 was kind of easy and i know there's about a hundred or so black sitcoms but yeah. i got down to 10 very easy you no know, i top 10 it was very easy well it it, it 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 we're not we're not making this like a two three show thing <laughs> so i mean hopefully we can wrap this today if we i mean boss, uh, but however i will go with whatever the majority would like. No, you you the boss. We're going to... Uh, okay. Hey, go, tell us what you're thinking about. Let's let's hear it. Maybe we... Yeah, don't be... Can't leave an asshole in suspense. <laughs> well, I didn't want... Well, okay. So, for example, since we didn't... Since we're not going to mention them, it's like Atlanta. To me, Atlanta is the best freaking black TV series ever. Is that a tea, is that a sitcom? I'm just yeah, asking. It is because it's it's a comedy, but it's just dark. Okay. And it's okay. It's, All right, yeah, yeah. That's what I was I was asking. Okay, cool. But it's totally a sitcom. It's listed as a situation com well, yeah, situation comedy. All right. Well, uh, if I could so, interrupt and interject for a minute, that I think that you brothers are doing a disservice to uh, our black women out here, and I would like to say to you, as a representative of black women, because I love black women, I'm going to say something that hurts my heart, but yet I have to say, you know, the fact that y'all leave stuff by Tyler Perry out, uh, that is not right. Uh, his shows have been running for more than four years, and y'all not. Uh, recognizing any of them. Yeah. Now, that's me just putting it out there. Now, here's the truth. God bless y'all. Y'all did a good job by not putting them in there. <laughs> but I was just wanting it to be out there that he has some shows out there that have ran that meet the criteria. He does. He does. <laughs> you he even did one before. I, I didn't make it, but you didn't put it on we there. Did. We did. Uh, we did. Um... If y'all want to put, uh, uh, see, I can't even remember what the damn thing's called. Um, they got a few. Uh, the Brown? Uh, Meet I mean, Brown. Uh, or what is it? What's the other one? The one with the fire chief in the uh, can I? I don't, I don't want to interrupt I'll everybody at one time. I don't want to interrupt everybody at one time, but I'm going to say this in my um, rap voice, and everybody knows this. Hell no, he replied. <laughs> okay so 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 with the addition of steve harvey show and the parkers shall 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 we get to the culling i'm with it okay all right okay in in no particular order i'm going to take the bottom of the list and the top of the list and those are how they're going to go head to head. So one from the top, one from the bottom? Yeah. Okay. The one that's okay, at can the we top. Start? Can we? The, 
The one can we start I, at the top on one thing, Daryl? Can I, I? I know you're the host, but I want to say from the top on one thing right now. Prof's background is killing them. I love it. Right about now, I wanted to let him know that that right there. You know that right there. You know what you do, boy. You know, see, you know me and uh, you know me, me and your boy over here on the other side. You know, we just regular at home cats. Y'all you know, gonna make you me go put on my hat. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you you, you know it. I got plenty of shit. Y'all I know, know you do. You know, you know, prop over there trying to kill him. You know, me and me, me and big boy over here. We over here. You know, we just at the crib, man. You know, that's how we do, it, man. You know, you know, that's how you know. You know what? We we the we the we number ten. Fuck it. That's that's what we are. We number ten. We we right there with you. <laughs> I, Love I, it. I, okay, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just. I, I'm, I, 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 you extra that. That's what's up. That's what's up. Did we decide not to add his uh his couple of uh hard hitters? Because to say that one could not make a heavy impact to be called the greatest, i.e., Biggie, in a short amount of time, with a short number of projects, you might be selling some so short. My favorite rapper still. There alive. is no doubt oh, okay. in my mind uh, that we may be selling some gems short, but yeah, but have, we have to make this. We have to for two. We don't have to go back and get as a part of which, which, which two, which, which, two? which two, which two, bro. We can put them on um, there. Well, my my two, but I had an honorable mention. Um, <laughs> Rock, Atlanta, and the Carmichael Show. The Carmichael, Carmichael Show. Okay. Didn't did it ever? No, it came on. It eventually came. I know it was on their app, it, on their streaming service at first. Right. And then like, I think they let the it. They let it come on. And man, that show. It oh was. boy, come on. It was. It that, was. How long? How long did it run for? I think it was two. Yeah, it was like two, three I, I, I liked it. I liked it. I don't know. I liked it. I, liked I mean, in terms, I'm just saying, I was dope. thinking of it in terms of impactful because you have things that really touch your generation. There's generational ones. Like for me, Fresh Prince is not, it don't, it's not my, I was kicking it when Fresh Prince was on. It was for everybody a little younger than me. Oh, no, say that for the talk. Say that for the talk. Don't, okay. don't speak water until we get to the show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Atlanta. Atlanta, I can see. Atlanta, I can definitely see. Our, our um, back again, gotta gotta stick to my guns on the criteria. So, because Atlanta technically is still running. Yes, he just released new seasons yet. Yes, yes. Okay, so ooh, that puts a whole new wrinkle in the game. Well, that's kind of if so we, that's kind of like a, if we squaring up top and bottom, that's that's a whole another facet. It's gonna yeah, have more that's, seasons. Unless okay. Yeah, that's kind of like a, they don't want that's kind of like a Hall of Fame thing where you go, okay, you can't get in the Hall of Fame while you're still playing. So yeah, I get that. You know, you if you're still in action, I know some people don't like the five year, seven year, six year, or whatever rule, but yeah, Atlanta. Um, hey man, we got we got a show in the future. Ain't nobody here going nowhere. We still got life. It can always climb in and climb up, and knock somebody down. You know what I'm saying? Just like every other good record in life. So, with no further ado, we have Family Matters, and thanks to Prop, Atlanta, in the first bracket. What's a better show? Probably Atlanta, but like I said, I'm Would not you... willing to. Yeah, he didn't want Atlanta to come I'm up. Still running. How can you be the greatest if you ain't done? That's facts. I didn't think about that. Mm. Yeah. That, you, mm. you know, we don't judge. I don't believe mm. we judge things until they're done. You know, you could say Barry Bonds was on pace to be the home run king, but what if he'd have had a shoulder injury? What if he'd have had a, you know, but he didn't, you know, so then when he retired, hey, I had the most home runs, you know, whatever, you know, you go that way. It's kind of like the stupid old Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady thing. Come on, man. It's just dumb. Everybody know Patrick Mahomes going to end up, but he ain't there yet. You know, you know, Tom is what Tom is, and he still ain't Joe Montana. But so I would say uh, Atlanta loses this one by default. They are put into the conversation because they are great, but they kind of put to the side in my mind. 
for me, they're put to the side. They're just put to the side. You know, you just can't win it while you while you're still in it. But you know, that's me. No. Uh, so now I gotta ask, based on that criteria, what happens to Blackish? Indeed, what happens to Blackish? <laughs> if, 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 hey guys, hey guys, I say this: if you guys don't agree with it, and we come to a consensus, it's four of us, seventy-five percent. Three people agree that it is in there. Then Atlanta could go. To me, I don't know that it still goes over family matters due to how much I think it crossed over. Yeah, but man, it would be I, oh. I, Atlanta. Atlanta would get my vote. Atlanta oh, would get my, my vote if it's allowed. And if, oh my goodness! You know, if, time, then, time out. That's time only time out. Time out. Insecure. Is that a sitcom? Meets the criteria. Definitely meets the criteria. Yeah, and but do they do? But do they call it a sitcom? I'm asking a question. It's a sitcom. Have you ever watched it? Nope. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, I thought uh, I was just. I'm, I'm not it. saying it's a bad thing, brother. I just not it's a bad up. thing. All I'm it's saying is, damn good show, and considered it's a comedy English. drama. And it's in yeah, but has it been on four years? So comedy drama is not the same as a sitcom. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> okay, hey, hey, it hasn't been four years. We only work. have one season. What? So we have like one or two seasons. Four, right? I think it's. I think it's coming. They're, up they're fourth. Season. They are. They are starting their fourth and final season. Oh, fourth. Actually, okay. nope. They are gonna start a fifth season. Fifth. I, okay, I know they meet. I know they meet that criteria. That's why it popped right. in my head. I know it. Right, because so, then a a different world doesn't meet it because it only went three years, right, or something like that. Who? Or did they meet it? Who? A different world did it make no, no, it? No, 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 sir, no, sir. You are mistaken. The, the different world ran for six seasons. Okay, okay, it, it I was. Clear, I was right? just, Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, man. Hey, man. Towards the, hey, man. Towards the end of that show, I was so in the streets, man. I wouldn't watch it. <laughs> oh, hey, God, excuse me. So, getting getting back to my 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 decision, Atlanta versus um, Family Matters. Family Matters. I'm gonna have to give it to Family Matters because situation comedy, just in my mind, it just has this whole. Thing, you know, this, this whole vibe and Atlanta doesn't vibe me. It's funny, it's a good show, but it was a lot of serious shit going on in Atlanta. Oh. So <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, kind of like insecure. And, you know, when I when I think sitcom, I'm thinking, you know, going back to my youth, I'm thinking TV dinner, you know, eight o'clock, seven o'clock, sitting down at the table, the family behind me, you know what I'm saying? We sitting in the living room. That, that to me, that's the feeling I get when I think sitcom, and Atlanta don't bring me that. Family Matters wasn't one of my favorites. Was Did it have an iconic character in, in one of the greatest singers that never made it? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going Family Matters. <laughs> did I do that? Did I do that? <laughs> And my, man, my man was the original. What's the other dude that be singing? The the, the, the comedian. <laughs> oh, which one? Oh, Family Guy. Wayne, Wayne Brady. He was the original Wayne Brady. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he was the Wayne Brady had <laughs> monkey. Man, y'all 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 quit talking about Wayne Brady, or he gonna come to your house and slap a hoe. Hey, I hated on <laughs> Wayne Brady, bro. But like the first, his first, his first album, I heard it. I was all, somebody let me get like, like three songs in before they told me, and I couldn't even hate. I was like, God damn. <laughs> so, so, Atlanta, it, Atlanta falls and, and, and Family Matters continues. Is that what I'm hearing? Oh, you and, and um. Oh, well, I'll weigh in. I'll weigh in. Oh, yeah. well, matter of fact, I'll let, I'll let, I'll let Cut weigh in. Yeah. Iconically, as much as I love, and I do love Atlanta, I got to give it to Family Matters. Yeah. I have to give that one to Family Matters. It, it, Urkel, the whole, man, it, life and 
the J.J. Walker thing, the, the, the every vibe that they had of Family Matters, they had everything that I grew up watching to know that you have to have. I got to give it to Family Guy. I have to. Damn, that hurts. <laughs> okay. That hurts. Um, like, <clears throat> now, 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 what I'm hearing or what I've heard so far is um, Family Matters is the nostalgic favorite. Um and 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 I like that. I like I like and there's a lot to be said about nostalgia because if we didn't have nostalgia, we wouldn't have shit like Atlanta. That being said, um, like my man said, Atlanta's still running. And and Atlanta has the potential, it definitely has the potential to become way more than it is now. Um, and I don't think so much that it's less of a sitcom than say like a family matters i just think it's a different animal i think it's like it's like it's like a, a like a cheetah and a lion if you will okay and i'm more into a lion because a lion is like okay i let the lionesses hunt for me and then i just come up and eat whereas a cheetah is like i got to chase you down and earn mine um i feel like atlanta is that cheetah that's still running to try to you know chase down what it needs to be get and family matters is already that lion sitting pretty like i'm good so yeah three to whatever you decide prof no i'm good you know <laughs> i mean i understand it i can't really argue it in the sense of I, you know family matters is your traditional sitcom no question about it live audience track laughter or whatever you know all that and I, I have some bias because like that, I hate that. <laughs> and that show didn't, Whoa. that show wasn't my generation. So it didn't mean anything to me. Um, so I gotta, I gotta admit, I have some bias there. So I understand that if you're basing it on, cause I'm in my criteria, it's about um, quality of the work along with the heart, its influence, how it changed, the culture, now that certainly played a part. It became a part of cult, pop culture. Family Matters did. And it ran the longest. It might be the longest running of all the black sitcoms, from my understanding. Oh, it's not. Interesting. Not, 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 close. It's one no of cigar. them. Yeah, it ran a long time. So, so I give it props and I respect it. It's just not my cup of tea. Oh. So your vote for Atlanta? Yeah, my, gonna, gonna yeah my vote's gonna be Atlanta, of course. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> but I understand it, so I get it. We can move. Look, what, what's the next one? Oh, the next one I think is gonna be a wash. Uh, <laughs> I think everybody in this room will be in total agreement on the next bracket. Um, in bracket number two, we have the Jamie Fox show. Against the Parkers. <laughs> I already know what you're gonna say, no. Two comedians. So, so let's let's hear let's let's hear it. Just just let's make it official. I'm gonna just say this. How you know my name? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know it's gotta be <laughs> Jamie. Man, Parker. I cannot I cannot think of a moment when I turned on. The Jamie Foxx show and was not curled up in knots <laughs> laughing at that shit. It was it, every time you watched it, it was hilarious, man. <laughs> Jamie and all them folks. And, and he used to get in uh what's his name? Uh Braxton uh, P. Uh, Braxton. Braxton. Oh, he Braxton. Used to get in Braxton nuts, <laughs> man. He stayed on that cat's bumper, man. And it yeah, because your breath, your like, breath, nigga. <laughs> whenever, whenever y'all get done, whenever y'all get done. <laughs> and they had the baddest one ever in the sitcom after 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 Penny and. Uh, and uh, oh, who fancy? Yeah, that fancy. man, that man. I was just gonna say. I'm glad somebody else said. It. I was just gonna say. <laughs> my criteria, <laughs> my criteria, my criteria no, is this. Fancy. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. done. I'm done, man. Okay, so... Well, hold on. Let me, can, I, can I go here real quick? 
Now, no, here's the thing I was thinking about it when because I was thinking about Fancy too, but then I was thinking like, so who was fine on the Parkers? Now, who was not a mother, but the, uh, the white girl, hey, the white girl, right? The white girl, girl. yeah. <laughs> but hey, she was. Hey, boy, let, I'm always not, loving it. I ain't gonna lie to you. Let's not hey, fellas, I'm gonna just put it out here. I'm gonna put it out here. Finer, okay? Because we I'm gonna put it out here like a nigga. I'm gonna put it out here like a nigga. I'm gonna be a nigga on this one. I'm, I know this cut. is nigga talk here. I've cut. always wanted a white girl like that to fuck everything else. <laughs> that was, I was like, that's now that, that right there is worth it. Y'all talk about going to college. That's what the fuck you go to college for. Cause what were they on a little junior yeah, college campus yeah, or whatever? Yeah, get yeah, them, 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 that everybody knows that 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 Claire Huxtable was the finest woman in all the sitcomdom. What? Are you joking right now? No. Do I look like I'm joking? Him? Nigga, it was nothing humble about Claire Huxtable. She was Claire Huxtable. Like <laughs> she was whatever. Okay. 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 Look. Gee, okay. Gee, okay. Gee, over Thelma. It, Thelma. Oh, that's yeah. what I was trying to think about. Okay. Not Penny. I meant to say Thelma. Okay. Thank you. I mean, look, in Claire Huxable, I'm telling you, natural sex appeal on top of brains and beauty. And I only had one thing wrong with sex. Claire Huxable. You know what? I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. In 2018, I only had one thing. In 2018, I, I, I took, I, I hung out with them. Um, uh, she's <clears throat> And 60. I'm stopping. Selma from Good Times. I mean, and she's cool. She's cool. She's cool. She person too. She's I cool met her at the Jack the Rapper. And, and, and I was going to say, Prop, I met her at Jack the Rapper. I saw her down there one year and I was like, hey. How you doing? What's up? She, hey, I'm going to just guess, say this, know, though. I'm going to just say this, though. I'm going to just say this, though. She's on her fifth marriage. That's good. That means the four niggas try. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. You can okay. only be, you can only uh, be. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. We digress. I'm good. Um, we digress, huh? Okay, uh, yeah. the next one, the next one looks like that's going to be a wash, too. Um, oh, everybody said Jamie Foxx. Did we go with Jamie Foxx? Yeah, I was going to ask that. There was three Jamie Foxxes. Jamie? It don't matter what nobody else did. At that point, we still want to hear opinions. <laughs> okay. Uh, next up is uh, hanging with Mr. Cooper and the Steve Harvey Show. Now, I'm gonna say we this before problem. we go. Before we go, <laughs> off, I just want to say this real quick. In Vogue was in the opening of the Hanging with Mr. Cooper Show. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. I'm done. And I was living. Well, I, was living and I was living. I was living in Oakland at the time. So there we go. I'm just, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> he like so. Miss Cooper ain't never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. <laughs> never gonna get it. No, 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 no. <laughs> See, see, that's why I like you. See, that's why I like. That's why we cool right there. Right there. <laughs> Hang on, Mr. Cooper was not funny, man. No. Yeah. And. I, I I'm not going to argue. I think I think Hang with Mr. Cooper was a one trick pony, and I'm shocked that it lasted as long as it did. Yeah, because yeah. you know why though? Because Mark Curry was decent. You got Holly Robinson, Pete, and Don Robinson. Um, it was. I mean, they can act, so they they did the best they could, but it just wasn't well written. It was the right. Was it was hokey. It was it was real hokey, man. It, it just. And and I, Steve Harvey's show was actually funny because he had Sid in it with him, and uh, and then another fine one, uh, Rachel Raquel Raquel Robinson. That's when yes. she was introduced to us. Uh, yes. And old girl that played what was up? What's up? Uh, again, yeah, old girl, you know, Steve, Steve, which he used to say. Right, right. Remember, and it also uh, the goofy homie that, that Cedric ended up with. Yeah, 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 yeah. But she was good. I, like they had some chemistry, actually. Even though 
you know, Steve Harvey's interesting. But anyway, and what about we give a Let's not get, let's not forget to give a shout out to old boy because I believe he was the one that got uh, murdered uh, for Romeo. his uh, chick lying. Uh, yeah, Romeo, he got murdered for the chick lying on him about, you know, the 14 year old girl who said that uh, he raped her. We all know that he didn't. She was just mad because he wouldn't be with her when he found out she was 14. And I, I just think that that homeboy could have had a tremendous future ahead of him and because he played a dumb guy really really well and y'all know sometimes when you're intelligent to be a dummy that is the hardest thing on earth you know and it can be and I I gotta say too that you know for Mark Curry you know we just got through talking about Jamie Foxx it's kind of crazy when you're better on the Jamie Foxx show as uh the characters that you played on there you know the guy at the DMV that he played one of the one of my favorite Jamie Foxx's of all Time, if you're going to be better on that show than you ever were on your own show, now nah, hanging with Mr. Cooper, I don't think it, it hangs at all. At least for me, I'm going to tell you right now, man, I, I, he gets the anti, and I don't, I don't do many antis, but no, nah, he can't be, no, nah, mm -mm, no, okay. no set for me. Okay. <clears throat> um, and with that, <laughs> we move on. <laughs> uh, next up, is did we say we was taking different strokes or not? Nah, because nah, it wasn't it wasn't enough black folks in different strokes. I don't know. I, I still thought of it as the black show, but that's just me. I can't name nobody but uh but Arnold uh, and Willis was black enough to carry it. The and, only and, 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 and Janet Jackson. Yeah, buddy. But anyway, I, I, I think the uh the light to dark ratio is off. So so <laughs> so 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 no. Who was Arnold's friend? Who was Arnold's friend? Arnold had a oh, little friend. black kid. Yeah, oh, Dudley. yeah. Dudley. Dudley. Yeah, they got, they got, they got kidnapped and was, and was being held by a pervert. It was a two-parter. I remember that one. Yeah, remember that one? That, that only really leaves the, the dad and the, and the daughter, right, as the predominantly main. Miss Garrett. Well, actually, she was black. The daughter was black. because The daughter, hey, man, hey, big love, come on, man. She was black. Yeah, yeah, Dana Plato was, was black. Wild. I mean, she got hooked wild. on drugs and she hung out in the hood and she stole to get her drugs. She black, you know. Come on, man. Why you that on my people like that? Wow. Oh my goodness. Um. So I'm. I'm a. Ooh. Ah. Did you say you didn't say who else though? If we take different strokes off, that is going to make the bracket difficult for some people. We'll leave it on there just for the sake of just. Yeah, who, okay. was, who was the competition? Yeah, who's the competition? It would be different strokes against blackish. Oh, black That's easy. All right, since we're not penalizing, since black is still going. Yeah. But I mean, I mean that's what we, I was going to say. Are we going that we, still running thing? Or fine. I'm fine with it. I'm yeah, I'm fine with it. Uh, okay, let me, throw, let me throw this this monkey wrench in the still running thing. Does it have enough? Because there's still a lot of great rappers still rapping that we call greats, Snoop. Right. So, like, Jay Black has so, quite a history. Yeah. So, okay. So I'm fine well, with that. The so, impact, well, Black let me just say this. If we're, if they go in here, I'm sorry, Prof, were you talking? No, I was going to say Blackish is for me. I, I, we can go with the, you know, still running, but out of those two, it's easily Blackish. Yeah. That show is brilliant. <laughs> Man, I agree. I mean, like I'm watching I agree. Life, right down to the light skinned wife. Oh, Bo? <laughs> yeah. oh. I'm with it. I'm with Blackish. We can okay. just, you know. That's a no brainer. Okay. Moving on. Um, I. Ooh. Uh. Uh. Uh, the Wayans brothers versus the Cosby show. Oh. Mm -hmm. I know, we know what Prof going to say. Mm -hmm. and, and I can pretty much guess what, 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 what Nub going to say. So, cut. Go ahead. You know... Just because a dude drugs chicks, it's kind of hard for me to take away the fact that he's actually an icon 
and, you know, I mean, you know, and I know I, I, I got cats that I know from the seventies, and they would tell you he didn't drug them. Old cats that I know say he didn't drug them. That's what we did back then. So this is hard for me because I don't want to pick this show. I really don't. But man. Man, stadium status, man. Some people have it and some people don't. Some of you cats can always go and do them, you know, them uh, 18,000 uh, seat little arenas that the little basketball players play in and everything. And then uh, some cats, man, they just, I mean, they walk into a stadium and, you know, they rock that shit like you rock, you know, <laughs> motherfucking music hall. I, for what it meant in the culture and not trying to rewrite history, I find it hard for me not to vote for the Cosby show. I'm just going to say it right there, period. And that being said, um, impact, impact and longevity and funniness, just, I... It changed what sitcoms were supposed to be by digging back into the past and pulling that shit up and put bringing it to the fore and mugs ate it up. I mean, with the possible exception of maybe Prof, uh, who wasn't watching the Cosby Show? Who wasn't I, I was. watching the Cosby Show? I was. Okay. Okay. I'm it, sorry. It's, it's rated. It's probably rated. The, one of the top sitcoms of all time, regardless. Okay. Of why. Um, it, it's in. It's definitely in the really conversation. Important. But, but as I again, as I think about it, there is not a time when I turned on the Wayne Brothers and did not laugh my ass off. That show was super hilarious. Them and John Witherspoon. Come on, now that show was funny as hell. It may not have been, been as impactful. It may not have been as iconic, but I will argue it was funny. So okay. in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a oh shit moment, I'm going with the Wayans, bro. It was I. Right. <laughs> I, hey, I, that, that's it was my your, even though was, I lo even though I love Claire Hooks. I, 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 I got to I got to I got to go with what was funny, man. That I, what made me laugh? Man, how what made, made, made me laugh, laugh longer? The Cosby Show no. made me laugh. Cosby Show made me laugh, but the Cosby Show the Cosby Show hit something different. Than what the Wayans brothers well, Yeah, you can't really laugh. compare them. You Do can't what? Really compare them, really. You can't compare them. You can't honestly. compare them. It's but hard to compare the Cosby show to a lot of different shows. But if you were going to, then you have to say Cosby because it's it checks every box. Okay. <laughs> it does. Hey, I mean, hey, but hey, but hey, in what? my heart, man, I'm, I'm, it's Wayans, dog. Hey man, okay, all right. Uh, let me let me holler at Big Nub for a minute because I'm gonna give him one that I'm hearing that's coming out right now, and I think he'll understand it. We can uh, uh, me and me and my dog over there, we can do this as hip hop connoisseurs as we are. Hey Big Nub, I don't know if you heard, but you know there's this thing that you know KRS One. I'm hearing the KRS One and LL Cool J are thinking about doing the uh, versus thing, right? Okay, now let's be clear. There is no loser in that situation. Somebody's going to pick a winner, somebody's going to pick a loser. And you and I both know this, and I know that you know this, because here's the deal. If you hanging with your homies, nigga, and you had a hot box, nigga, and you sitting up there, nigga, and KRS-One comes on, he's the winner that night. But let's just say that you out with your girl <laughs> at the after party of a concert, and LL goes, who do you love? And you are at that after party and your woman got on her prettiest shit, man. You know, at some point you sitting up there going, damn, that nigga LL is the best right now. This is kind of how I feel about this. This is what battles are truly about. And this is where taste and perspective come into order. There is no loser in this, but somebody got to go. Yeah. 
And so, Big Dub, I'm, I'm just going to ask you, my brother, is it LL Cool J, which I would say that would have to be the Cosby Show, or is it KRS-One on the other side, which makes you laugh like a motherfucker when you say the one, the Wayans brother, but, man, when you're trying to get that pussy, do you really turn on the Wayans brother? I'm sorry. I, I'll digress. Big Nub, man, 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 hit me up, dog. Let me know a little something. Man, Let me know something. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm torn between doing the right thing and my thing. Okay. The right thing says that if I'm going down the column, checking off sitcom, everything about the Cosby show wins. But I'm going to tell you what I told Daryl in the conversation that we had. I like the Cosby show, but the Cosby show didn't impact me quite as much because the Cosby show didn't look like any black families that I knew. So like, it didn't have the same impact for me as, and not that I knew anybody that looked like the Wayne's brothers, neither, but. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to have to say, I'm really on the fence with this one. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you can, L could be in that hot box too. He got some hot boxes too. Yeah. But KRS1 ain't making no love. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, so, so you know, Elder left people with lumps. Golly. Oh, I think you might have to circle back to me because I'm deliberating real hard right now. I'm like Congress right now. I'm, I'm torn. <laughs> <laughs> What's good for my district? Fuck the, fuck the total bill. What's good right, for man. my district? I'm going to do the right thing. As much as I agree with Daryl that um, Wayne's brother was clearly the funniest show by, by, by for me. Like, but, you know, I didn't watch the Reigns Brothers with the same intent that I watched the Cosby show with. But So I'm going to do the right thing, and I'm going to have to go Cosby, despite my inner nature screaming Wayne's Brothers. Because to be honest with you, I don't think Wayne's Brothers can make it to the end either. I don't think it'll make it, you know, to the end game. So I think Cosby can hold his own. Mm -hmm. Some oh, of the people yeah. we haven't talked about yet. Okay. Okay. Well, we we can't all agree, and 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 Viva you just voted. Wrong. You just voted on Hillary. That's what you did. You just voted on Hillary. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just... <laughs> okay. All righty. Next up, I think who won? Is, you you said who won that? You said Cosby Show. He said Cosby Show. No, I mean, uh, Cut gave you that illustration, which clearly says the Cosby Show. Oh, okay. I'm the only one that said Wayne's brothers. Oh, you know, no, you're not. I'm with you on the Wayne's brother in my heart. I know, in, in spirit, you, 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 you with me, you with me with the Wayne's brothers too. Till we got a, till we got a fight, yeah, yeah, yeah. then you, you gonna hide around the corner and be like, hey. Hi, show. <laughs> hey, I said the Wayne's brothers in my heart, <laughs> but, but my mind, no, right, 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 right. Okay, so moving on, we finna have, we finna have another one of those moments. Shit. No, we ain't. I'm kidding. Oh, it, 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 he did. They finna get destroyed. Uh, <laughs> Fresh Prince of Bel Air versus Moesha. Yeah. Uh huh. So this is not fair for Moesha because you don't got no black women from our generation on here. <laughs> okay. Next. <laughs> Because, because it, because that, 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 that might be the worst. That might be the worst match up ever, boy. I'm if sorry. the Cosby Show hit the mark, then Fresh Prince of Bel Air better be knocking that bitch out of the park. Oh yeah, I, you know what? I, 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 I have to go. Prof, Prof, I see you over there frowning, fam. Talk no, but I mean, you got to give it to Fresh Prince. But see, my scale is different. I'm basing on quality stuff and other things. I'm not really. So Moesha, Moesha is a more quality show than Fresh Prince to you? Moesha is, is a, a typical UPN show with <laughs> some good cast members. And it just kind of worked. I mean, but it's not like. It's not Fresh Prince though. Fresh Prince ended up being something special. Yeah. Even though so we just going to my so we just gonna, I get. Nah, nah. So we just gonna, so we just going to put it over there in the corner with uh homeboys from outer space, right? 
I mean, I wouldn't go that far. I mean, to me, Wayne's brothers are closer to that shit than Moesha. I actually, I mean, I, you know, so. Okay. Okay. Well, like I said, there wasn't a whole lot to think about now, was it? Yeah, no, I'm I'm with uh give me uh fresh prints every day on that one. Yeah. Okay. And, when your and- commercial when you're going to your commercial or coming back and your slogan is M to the O to the stop. Just stop. Just right there. That's poor production quality. <laughs> I I and I uh, uh, okay. And that dude, that daddy, that daddy dude in that show, man, he could get a dick, man. That nigga sucked as an actor for me. That nigga sucked. I know everybody's going to sit here. And try to say that. Cause what's kidding. really on your mind, dog? Damn. I mean, you know, hey, man, hey, man, you know, my water tastes good today. I'm just telling you what I think. No, I'm serious on that, man. <laughs> I never oh, liked okay. that. Man. I ain't like I, I ain't like nothing that dude ever acted in. That motherfucker boy, he just makes me boy. Woo, he's the Tyler Perry of acting. I'm sorry. Hey, dude, it's a lot of people gonna get cut off. Oh my goodness. This is getting ugly, y'all. This is getting ugly. Uh so I'm 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 going soon. Yeah, moving on. Um <laughs> next up, we got a different world and two two seven. Ooh. It wasn't gonna get no easier. Yeah. I, I got it. I'm different. I want to. I want to hear prop on this. I want to hear prop. What you got to say? A different world was way was. You know how impactful different world was, and how well done it was, and the ensemble. And are you kidding me? A different world, man. I, what? Please. Okay. That's easy. Big nub, what you got, baby? Uh, I'm going to have to... I, I feel like 227 was my mama's show. Now, I've seen it, <laughs> but that was for my mama. She was she was the Jack K fan. But, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going different world all day because, you know, you know, my girlfriend was on there. I have to, I might have to retract my um, list of hottest <laughs> sitcom uh, Jasmine Guy. Hold on now. How we... Wow. Come on. Stop it. <laughs> Jada Pinkett. Jada, oh, stop. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, different world. I like, I like, the Frank. more we talk about different world, the higher is moving up in my overall thought process. Like, that show was great. Tupac was on different world. Man. One he, episode. Sorry, he was on there. <laughs> he made it. Hey, they okay. had cuticles on there. Okay. The masses have spoken. <laughs> I find it hard. I find it hard if you're from our generation. I find it hard if you're from our generation to go against Big Nub on that because I never thought it like about it like that. But every time I watched that show, it felt like I was watching something for my mother, even if it was just the only thing on at that time. I felt like when I was watching um, A Different World, I'm watching that because I want to watch that. Plus the black college life thing. You know, I went to FAMU. And it was kind of like watching something before I did it or while I did it, while it was going on. It it touched me a little bit more and it was in goddamn Jasmine guy. Uh, uh, I I ain't gonna lie to you, boy. (laughs) That cigarette smoking old looking bitch today. You know, you know that man, that cigarette smoking bitch today with the with the coarse voice. That's cool, but boy, she was a fine mother sucker back then. And and you know what? Another thing, the the nerd. The black male nerd cool guy, but as uh, my buddy Prop already refers to himself as and as his production company is, the cool nerd. That cool nerd, hey man, it ain't nothing like it. And we know about that because I pretty much consider everybody on this group to be a cool nerd. We all cool, Wayne, you Wayne. know, but we, we nerd. Wayne, Wayne. You know what I'm saying? The Wayne, okay. hey man, the flip glasses, okay. you know, everything, yeah. the fashion statements that they made, the racial sensitivity that they had for not just themselves, but they also looked at misogyny. Everything, And we're still talking about a sitcom, man. We're talking about some funny shit. Yeah. We're talking about some funny shit that at the same time could deal with everything almost 
they were almost man for black people for real. I could say they were, they didn't have the corniness of the uh, Cosby show. As good as the Cosby show was, there was a little bit of corniness about it because I agree with you, Big Nup. Hey, man, we didn't know many people like them. We, I did not know many people, you prop, I don't, I know you didn't know many people like the families that came from there. Well, but you want to know what? We all knew them kids. You know why we knew them kids? Because them kids right. was us. Right. Them, them, them kids was us. I mean, you know, you got Lisa Bonet coming in there, everything. There you go. There you go. Now, that's what's up right there. Everybody pay attention, man. He read offset. <laughs> I had to, man. That to get that. Hold on. He to. put his finger up. I saw him. He said to, one, man. one minute. I had to. Already. Already. I mean, you know, I just feel like I don't know if you heard me, Daryl, or not, but I just feel like, man, that was so us. I don't know who the only show that probably could have went directly up against that and maybe had made it be defeated is because of how much love we give the Cosby's. That that would have a different world. Mm -mm. No, nah, man. It's a different we, world. Well, we can find out. We just don't, it's still going to happen. Like, oh. uh, I wouldn't right, have a problem, have problem with that. I wouldn't have a problem with that. Okay. Yeah, so who, who was, was real quick, who, who was, who was, the, who was uh, uh, Regina King's boyfriend on 227? <laughs> 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 oh, that dude, that dude, that dude that we never saw again. The dude with the bad oh, eyes. He, so, he was like Calvin from McDonald's. Like, what's <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> I don't know what made me think. I was trying to think of the whole show. I was thinking, okay, Jack Davis. All, right. all, 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 all I can think about, I was thinking all about I can think about when he say Calvin is, is Whack Arnold on a Dave Chappelle show. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> say Calvin got paid. I like some fries. Uh, like yeah. French fries. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hey. So like French fries. Okay, okay. Uh oh, look like we got another one. Got another one coming up, coming up, coming up. Y'all gonna have to use your thinking caps. Uh, in one corner, we got we got America who got the Bernie Mac show mm. up against Martin Lawrence. Shit, why you do that? <laughs> That's how the list is. I didn't do anything. Hey, shake them dice again. I, I don't got no spades in my hand. I don't, I don't <laughs> oh, no that's that's kind of unfair. Well, it's all uh, sorry, to Bernie. Actually, I have to work for this one. I can't wait. Go. Sorry, Good. Bernie. That, How about you lead off on this one? <laughs> sorry, Bernie. Damn, Man. America. Damn, Martin, America. Martin is, dude. <laughs> I watch more. I laugh at Martin almost as hard now as I did back then when it was harder. Like harder. My kids laugh at Martin. My kids watch the whole show still. It's, it's the shit. Of, it's in my top five all time sitcoms. Hey, save it. Don't tell us. Oh, oh no. I'm saying all five. I'm talking about oh, not this uh, list. Yeah, I'm going Martin. Emotional. I'm going Martin. I'm going Martin all day. All day. Oh, I remember getting sent videotapes being in the field over in Germany and we waited for that one person to get that box that had right. the, uh, the recorded episodes in there with the Yo MTV raps and all that. And we about 30 niggas around a bunk bed on a TV about this big watching Martin <laughs> dying. Just <laughs> dying. <laughs> oh, all the white people are like, what is going on over there? They don't just say, fuck you. They fuck you, player. Watch out. Right, right, right. Well, I know Big Noah can tell you, I remember many nights sitting at his house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> watching, watching, watching Dragonfly Jones. Oh, my God. And, and Otis, the security guard. Say what? Say what? <laughs> oh, man. Dude, can't nobody. I'm, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> That's that's yeah, my, that's that, yeah, that is by far. That is by far uh uh shit top five in my opinion. Um oh, think we got a think we got another watch coming up, gang. Um well what did cut say? He, 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 he. Ah man, I'm reading cut's mind. Go ahead I, and say it out loud. Hey man, let me tell you something. I 
I mean, I mean, man, as much as I want to get for I love Birdie. I do. I think the show was good. I actually really? think it was good writing and really? quality and all that. But really? you know what, though? You know how many people I know that when I was dating my wife, and I will always say this, how many people that said when they would spend any amount of time around me and my wife, they would go and look at that show, and they would, uh, from Marlon to my boy Aaron Chris to my cousin John, they would go, you want a Gina, us too. Yeah. And I would take yeah. that as the ultimate respect of comedy because, you know, we like to have fun and, you know, I could, I could, be, I could be Barton for real uh, uh, in life. And it's just hard to go, man. It is hard. Oh, this, I just hate it because I love Bernie so much. I love the dude, man. But, man, this show can't compare, man. It, it just can't, man, Martin. Man, Martin Lawrence, that show, Martin. You know, from everything from the music from when it came on to the time it went off, from the from 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 all oh, damn Gina. I mean, you know, it was just things that he did. And let's not even forget he had as basically an add on one of the greatest comedians of before our time, the one of the original not ready for time, prime time players as his boss. And that motherfucker dressed like he did, like when he first came out. I mean, you know, that shit was fun. Man, I, I just hate doing this to Bernie, but I hate to make it a sweep. I was trying to come up with some kind of way to give it to Bernie. Fuck that, man. I got to give it Martin, yeah, man. Martin. That, that was the man. Being Bernie Mac and not the Bernie Mac show. Like, I mean, Bernie, it was a good show, but there you go. Do it on Barney's show. And not to mention, hey, that boss, he after he got out of the radio business, he went and started a hotel, didn't he? <laughs> oh, on the James. <laughs> okay. And uh, Big Nub, right. let me tell you something about you, Big Nub. Big Nub, I'm just going to say this to you, man. You ain't got no job. Man, that might be the funniest fucking ongoing joke in television hey. history. That just <laughs> might be it. I'm done. Hey, I'm done. We got a homeboy in Alaska and do they do assisted living and that's the I still I still call him Tommy today. I'm like, where your time like at Tommy? We punch in at, huh? You know, you know, I used to work in the black building across the street. You know I got a promotion. I'm at the white building now on the other side of the street. Man, you ain't your fly dressing motherfucker, you ain't got no job. Hey Martin, you ain't um, got no man there. <laughs> Bro, man up on the fifth floor. I put yeah, you I put your I put your CD player back where anybody would put it, back behind your toilet stool on the left hand side. What, <laughs> brother man from the fifth floor? Remember when he was looking for that CD player that time, and they did the uh, the round table that looked like uh, uh, what was it, uh, New, New Jack, Jack City? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dragonfly. Yeah, Tommy, we know you ain't got get, no job. I need to I'm get sorry. paid. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to get paid, Dragonfly. No, no. <laughs> yeah. My life is turned off. If you was practicing your art, huh? You wouldn't need no life. <laughs> Silence, punk. You know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, check it out, y'all. The right. next three, the next three, they're gonna be rough. So I'm, I'm, I'm asking you to dig deep, dig deep, cause we're coming to the stretch. All right. Next up, Sanford and Son. Don't worry. And everybody hates Chris. All right. I, so. uh, I was never a, a Chris Rock fan or everybody hates Chris fan, and I will tell you this: I recently. Started watching Sanford and Son again, and my God, the things I did not catch as a youth that I catch now, that show is was light years ahead of its time. It was, I, it's still funny as shit to me. Like I'm just like, what is going on? Sanford and Son all day. I love that line, light years ahead of its time, because it was. It was. Sanford and Son still is funny as shit, man. Dude, <laughs> I mean, it came out in '72, yo. And the topics, the right. topics are still relevant today. We right. still fighting the same shit they was fighting. So you talking about? Oh man, yeah. Anyway, go ahead. My bad. <laughs> it's like my favorite black sitcom of all time, San Francisco. 
yeah. in just terms of what it did. It set the tone for everything else. I yeah. mean, it really did. But yeah, that's that's my well, goal. I'm just Although gonna say I will like, say this. I'm just I will gonna... say this. Can I say this real quick? Every um, Chris, what is it? Everything. Everybody hates Chris. <laughs> everybody hates Chris. Everybody exactly. Hates Chris. I know that's sad that I did that. That about encapsulates it. No, 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 no. You know what? It's actually a really good show. It's a really good sitcom. No, yeah, my it, son loves it's it. really well done. I think if I was if I was younger, it would have really spoke to me. Yeah. But I when I would watch it, I was like, you know what? This is smart. You got what your girl Tina Arnold is in it. Yeah. You got uh Terry Crews. Yeah. Um, yeah. then all the guest stars from I mean, just hilarious guest stars. I can't even recall I, I just like I just like the dude that used to I just like the dude who used to take his money all Earthquake. the time you know dude. hey Earthquake. hey little dude from across the street I just love that I, you right, know right. I, and I and I will tell right. y'all something else that I loved about it it uh it was the first show that I saw my son actually get into and it let me know that that's interesting because for me that's our genre that's right that's us in the 80s right. and he got it and i never knew him to be and still don't know that he is a chris rock fan wonderful and it, it, it kind of gave me something to watch with him which i could go you know because you know all the run dmc references all the 80s references yeah. and all that how he saw himself how he envisioned life that stuff was cool to me but i'm gonna tell you man you old fish-eyed fool if you think that it's better than sanford and son right. you know sanford and son was i mean you know god bless her and you know and god bless all the people that pass from that show man because they were that that show right there was so amazing that was the one show that you sat down indian style in front of the tv with your folks and yeah. i'm gonna go big nub on this one you didn't feel like you was watching your mama's show you felt like you was yeah. watching the show with your mama you know what i'm saying yeah. i gotta i got i gotta go there and prop you hit it on the head everybody hates chris was just like the person it was designed after. It was smart comedy. Yeah. And it is smart comedy. I just don't need to see it again. It doesn't have that replay factor and that replay ability, you know, because, you know, my favorite joke on there is a simple joke. When your boy uh, Grady goes to use the telephone and he picks up the phone and starts dialing and, you know, uh, Fred goes, hey, Grady. You didn't ask me if you could use my. He said, "What, Fred?" He said, you didn't ask me if you could use my phone. And he said, "Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Fred." And he hangs it up. He says, "Fred," and Gray. He says back to him. He says, "Yeah, may I use your phone?" Oh, sure, Grady. You know, you ain't got to ask. It seems so simple. But it's the fact of I've been in black folks' houses because I actually was one, you know, in one. And nigga, you don't, you don't just pick up a nigga's phone in the 70s and just start dialing. You got to ask them, can you do it? And it's funny like that. And I know, you know, today's, today's world wouldn't understand that joke because, well, they got a phone in their back pocket. Yeah. I'm, I will say that my 17 year old said that every, everybody hates Christmas. His kind of, one uh, kind of go with prop. It might be the, uh, or my fave. If I had to think about it, it was just wonderful, man. That was just good, good, good yeah. TV. Yeah, real business, real business. All I have to say about everybody hates Chris is Tashina Arnold reminded me of my mama in real life. That's what my 17 year old. Because Chris was getting his ass beat every five minutes, just like me. Yeah. Welcome to the club. Yeah. Right. She, <laughs> yeah. Tashina Arnold. Tashina Arnold was everybody's mama because you know the one thing about her, you didn't worry about your daddy because your daddy be like, "Look here, man, just keep the peace." But your mama, she gonna whoop that ass. <laughs> yeah. He make that face and just yeah, exactly. Okay. Next one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Living single. Or girlfriends. I'm I'm about to shock the world. And it's only because my wife just recently started watching Girlfriends on Netflix. And I catch myself watching and laughing often. 
like I'm not even gonna lie to you. The show was a good show. Not to mention it was written by the same guy who did Blackish. So like the span of the show, some of the things they talk about, I didn't realize the show was on. Like, I mean, I just didn't realize how far it ran. Right. And I'm like, man, they talking about some shit that's going on now or things that we have now. I'm like, was this show on? For some reason, I thought it was way older than that, but it, it spanned a good amount of time. And I'm going to have to say that it, it was a funny show. Now, I'm not going to say it had the same weight all the way, all through all eight seasons. And to be honest with you, the only thing I remember about living single is Kyle and Latifah in, in Winston. That's it. I don't remember nothing else. I'm, I can't remember nothing about Living Single. I remember it was funny. No, 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 no. I, I'm saying specifics. I remember the show. It was a good show. I'm going to have to go Girlfriends. Woo! Yeah. And if you think I'm lying, you should watch it. It's funny. I I, I have. Um, Prof? Turn on your sound. I'm going Living Single. <clears throat> I mean, Queen Latifah, Kim Fields. Um, Erica Alexander. Erica Alexander was amazing. And, Kim Coles. Uh, and Kim Coles. I, just a great ensemble. It was that 90s, that early 90s. I mean, the 90s was so... We were doing so, some... We were, we were being... I don't know. We were sort of appreciating our blackness on another level. Yeah. Man. And that oh, show was really like in line with that. I mean, you know, Kyle, Kyle, Barga, you know, whatever. The, uh, whatever the voice was. of Kratos and God of War. Ah, is it really? Wow! Yes. In the, nope. in the yep. Okay. Yep. Kyle yep. is the voice of Kratos and God of War. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I have to go listen to that again and see. And just the, 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 the original. Oh, okay, I was about to the, say the Greek the one, not the new one. New one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that 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 to me, and I mean, um, I like I liked girlfriends. I mean, it was some eye candy on there too. Mm. Chick with the lips, Tony. Mm. Tony. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so, we mean, are such men. We are such yeah, men. Yeah, I know. We always bring it back to the women on the show. <laughs> hey, this well, might, this might be a whole show for the women. Show. What the hell else are we supposed to do? <laughs> I mean, they was looking like that for a reason, so we would say something. So, you know, hey. Uh, Tracy, but, Tracy L is wrong. And Tracy, you know, hey. Tracy was doing a no, thing. No, no. So. The, the little, the, 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 the hoish one. What was her name? The other one. <laughs> Um, he said the whole issue. Oh, the Golden Brooks. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so you, so Nub, you going, you going girlfriends. You going girlfriends. Prof, you going living single. Nub, I mean, uh, cut, take us home. All right. I'm going to say, first of all, from the beginning of girlfriends, it's kind of funny because I have a group of uh, uh, homegirls. <laughs> My homegirl, Vanetta. And her crew, it always kind of reminded me of the way that they were as individuals. You know, her, she had a, she, her best friend's name, Nat. She got another girl named Sheila. She got her cousin, Tammy. And I always noticed how they were, that, that's the first thing that I got from. Them. And so it always hit me. Plus, when, when I watched it with my wife, I took kind of like, I saw the funniness in it with the one cat being there. And I was always like, I guess that's kind of like me because I can hang around all of them individually at some point in time. And it was cool. But I almost thought it was fool's gold because I knew that there was not a lot of women who could do that. That, you know, women fall out with each other, man, over a six week period real quick. So it ain't going to be a bunch of funny shit going on around that. Great show, great writing, great to see, beautiful to watch. Loved it actually more the second time I watched it. I mean, Queen Latifah and them, man, they cleaned that shit up, man. And that shit was just funny and fun. And it didn't have a serious tinge to it, but something serious could come out of it. I got to go with them, man. I got to go with Living Single just because of the way. And I, 
I loved Girlfriends the second time I watched it. But if I got to watch you a second time to catch every fucking thing, and there's not many years between that, nah, player, it just don't it don't hit me like that, you know. And I uh, um, I loved it. I loved it. And you watching it again with your uh, with your lady, Big Nub. I'm gonna tell you, I watched it the first time with my lady, and I watched it the second time with my lady, and I had a different view of it, so I get how you can see it that way. Yeah. But as sitcoms go. If one was on one channel, or what was on BET, and one was on UPN as a repeat, I'm probably going to turn to living single. If not for any other reason, there is nothing funnier in the world to me than Kim Cole's character, a dumbass black chick who can navigate through life and yet do just as good as her fucking smart friends. That shit to me is funny because she was dumb as a box of rocks. But she was right there with a motherfucker running best friends with Regine. The her boyfriend was John Hinton. Who's yeah. John Hinton's character? Obi. 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 Right. Obi. Yeah. Um, what I was going to say uh, about it. Well, cut scene that froze up. Uh, <laughs> What I was going to say about it was um, Thursday nights. Um, that was almost like religion for yeah. me. Uh, he Martin did. at the 8 o'clock spot. Somebody ain't talking. At the 8.30 spot. Somebody got and, frozen. And then <laughs> uh, New York Undercover at 9. That was a wrap every Thursday. Every Thursday, if you wanted to find me, that's where I was. You know what I'm saying? Martin, living single, New York undercover for years. Um, Were they on Fox? Yes. So when was uh, uh, yes. In Living Color? What what night did In Living Color come Girlfriends? On? In Living Color. What night did In Living, in Color? living Color? In Living Color came on on Sunday. Oh, okay. 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 And so, but that whole, like that whole Thursday night, that whole block, I, I know. was in. Don't even you know ask what? me. I, and I didn't miss none of those shows. That's why I didn't see the whole Seinfeld Friends era. Because yeah, I was watching. Exactly. I was, I was watching New York. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't. If if you told me to name an episode of Friends or I'm going to shoot you in the face, I'm, I'm going to just you. put the gun to my face. because I Everybody knows about the soup Nazi. <laughs> Which is Seinfeld. That's Seinfeld. That's what I'm saying. That's the only thing I know about Seinfeld. Right, right, right. I don't know what happened with the soup Nazi. I don't know nothing. Just I mean, I watch, I, I, I watch Seinfeld, mind you, but I, I wasn't tuned in. You know Sorry. what I mean? Because Larry, Larry David, Larry David does some clever right. You know what I'm saying? And and, and and especially with Kirby enthusiasm. So I love, I love Larry let David. Them right. show. This is about black TV. Don't let them yeah. take this from us. <laughs> I, 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 from black now. All right, black man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, but it sounds like it's is living single, three to one. I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch living single. I'm just being honest because my okay. memory of living single. I remember that everything you just described. I remember that Thursday. I remember everything. But as far as when it comes down to specific episodes and moments that stood out to me, I got nothing. Okay, guys. Interesting development. Heavy D. That's all I'll say, my man. We have two. We have two more shows that we got to put in here. However, comma, we already have ten. No, you got to finish. You got to finish the list. Yeah, we do got to finish. So it's either gonna be a top eleven, or somebody gonna have to drop off. Because the two shows we got left going head to head are like, oh my God, how did that even happen? It can only happen on Be Real with Be Real. The final two, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Good times in the Jefferson. Oh yeah, somebody else got to get off the list from that we already had. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we to go. Well, Cause I'm telling you right now for me, that's a tie that I can't break. Like I said, they needed to be put pit up against somebody else different. Nah. Like I can't, I can't pick between those shows. So, this is what's gonna happen. 
I, I can. I, I good times is mine. I I love good times. Love, Man. love, 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 love. I knew I can tell y'all now. I'm no problem ever, and I will say this: I knew what he was gonna say before he said it. I get it. I get it now. Now I understand where prophets coming from, and I'm gonna say this: it's it's hard for me because part of me just remembers why John Amos quit. Because he quit the show because he said he never knew a black man that woke up early every day and couldn't get in or keep a job. That man, when I heard that at a very young age, I think I was in my teens when I figured, you know, when I heard that why he actually had left the show in the first place. And I know that has nothing to do with the content of the show, nothing to do with how funny the show was. But it always kind of reeks my heart that I don't know nobody black that gets up every fucking day and you have to make sure that he is the bottom of the fucking list. But that shit was funny than a motherfucker, dog. I ain't going to lie to you. And I like George Jefferson, but other than the word honky, and which you can't say on TV today, and the fact that Sherman Helmsley had that hair that I refused to have. Nick, nigga, I will keep all this shit for the rest of my life, but I ain't going with that goddamn horseshoe shit. Uh, uh, I, you know, there's, man, I'm not, I'm not a, a big nub. Trust me, you'll see me either with a bald head or with the little shit I got, but I'm not doing the horseshoe. I'm not doing that shit. Fuck that. But, uh, but, no, no, can't do it, baby. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I have to go good times. Man, that was, you know, unfortunately for Jimmy Walker, man, that was his magnum opus. He could never come back. He was the horseshack of that, that shit where you do something so good that you can never do nothing else good again in anybody's eyes. And, and damn, 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 James, you don't become hey. iconic. Hey. Hey, you don't become know. iconic and you don't have an iconic saying like that. I mean, you know, you know, the Jeffersons, I mean, let's be real. Florence was the star of that show at one point. I mean, and after she became the star, she was the star of that show. I ain't gonna have no bitch in my house cleaning up my shit and I'm rich and you talking shit to me. Fuck all that. I'm just, you know, now I'm gonna go back to that man shit. That's me. You know, black women want to get mad. White women gonna get mad for the bitch word. I you been mad before, whatever. But uh, uh, I'm. that's why I gotta go with, you know, being in the ghetto, living in Chicago, <laughs> sleeping on the sofa, <laughs> the sofa uh, uh, let out with your, with your little brother. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, because that's what we do, and that was just fun. And Thelma, fine ass. Uh, 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 you know, I, 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 man, I, man, good times, man, good times. Sorry. No. Yeah. All right. All right. So here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna tell you how impactful the damn, damn, damn was. I thought. Uh, James was dead. <laughs> Remember when we was talking? I thought he was dead. <laughs> oh, John Amos. John Amos, yeah. I thought he was dead. I was like, oh, man. But, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to have to say, I'm going to have to say, being honest with you, this is another one of those things. Jefferson's has fond memories to me because it was my grandma's show. <laughs> okay, so that's why it's a hard sh a choice for me. But if I had something that I was to watch now today without my grandma Ma, it would probably be good times. Donald might. <laughs> right. Then, then, then it doesn't matter what I have to say. Right. But, um, but, but hold on. But we what? would like to know your opinion. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're moving on up, moving on up <laughs> to the east side to a deluxe apartment in the sky. Who does not know that song? But then you could just come back at me and go, keeping your head up on water. Right. <laughs> I mean, I, my, my opinion is this. I feel 
flight because of the impact both of those shows had, um, it should be a tie. But that's just me because nah, I don't I don't look at the Jeffersons as my grandma's show because the Jeffersons was the second show I ever watched where I heard somebody say the word nigga and they got away with it. Not Negro, right. nigga. He said nigga. George Jefferson said, nigga, what you say to me? George Jefferson. Before that, Aunt Esther was the only person I ever heard say nigga on television and got away with it and nobody said nothing. Fred did to me, to me, yeah. that alone was a was a was a watershed moment. You know, <laughs> it's like nigga on TV. Wow, they said it. And nobody said nothing. You know? So to me, there's too many moments in the Jeffersons that I can cite the George Jefferson dance way before the motherfucking Carlton was popular. The George Jefferson dance was dance that everybody would do when y'all was like, oh, I want to get down to the get down. Let's do the George Jefferson dance. There's too much. Uh, uh, Wheezy's voice alone, just like George. How much? There was just too much iconic shit going on in the Jeffersons to just just miss it. I can think. I can think of a um a a a, 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 a Lipton brisk tea commercial where they had like a, a, a animated Bruce Lee, and he was fighting the Jeffersons, and Wheezy was the henchman. <laughs> Look that up on YouTube. It's hilarious. <laughs> Just a, a a brisk iced tea commercial. Bruce Lee beating up Wheezy and George Jefferson. That, that alone tells you the impact that the differences had on our society. We're making fun of them motherfuckers. They don't lift in commercials and shit. You know what I'm Darryl, saying? Daryl, hold up. Did the Jeffersons have a lunchbox? Yes! Everybody had a lunchbox. Yes. Yeah, they did. Yeah, They, they had, had a lunchbox. They did. I remember I'm about to say, I know there were plenty of dynamite lunchbox. Did they have a doll? Because there was a dynamite doll. There was dynamite t-shirts. There, Jimmy Walker Mike was huge. Jimmy Walker got a comedy album on the strength of that show. I'm just saying. I mean, iconicness. You, yeah. you can't say good times ain't iconic. I ain't saying it ain't that that I'm, that not, I'm not saying kid. it ain't iconic. But I'm saying you can't dismiss it and just say it wasn't. No, you're just comparing it to the two. Yeah, and that's why yeah. I said you just, they I mean, you know, and that's why I said Jay Z. It's the Jay Z, Rakim, Nas, KRS One. You know, when you want to get, when you start getting down into them top ten, if somebody says number eight is number one to them, how you gonna argue? Because you feel like you know, you know what I'm saying. You know, it's yes, it's one of them. Exactly. But, you know, you know, and, and I will. And, that's, and, I will, and that's, all that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. No, now ask for the ask for yeah, ask for my thoughts. There they are. I got you. Well, I, I got to say that I, I do have to, unfortunately, I have to run, man. I didn't know it was going to be two hours. I'm sorry. I hadn't planned my day around that. I apologize. You, you, you can run, but would you like me to run down this list? Is it going to take like two? <laughs> is it gonna take if you if you be quiet and let me run down the list, I might get through it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You actually have eleven on our on our all time list, and they are Good Times, Family Matters, The Jamie Foxx Show, The Steve Harvey Show, Blackish Asterisk, The Cosby Show, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, A Different World, Martin, Sanford and Son, Living Sing. So is, is the next the next the next episode we ranking those or are we just that's your it? ten that's your eleven that's yeah your but ten but that's not in an order that's just the, how they won their their oh their, you uh, okay well prof you won't be around for the order buddy no I'm saying like <laughs> are you can do another show I could you can end what, it right it, would, would, would you yeah. like would you like to be a part of that prof? Talking? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, think he's talking yeah, to I'm sorry, I zoned out, but yeah, no, I could, I could certainly jump in another time. Uh, okay. In the meantime, y'all hold it down. Y'all do it, you know. Do me, um, make me proud, rather. And uh, say word. Uh, no, cut D. Appreciate right, you, boss. It's Appreciate really good. You, boss. Appreciate. At the end you. of the day, is 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 Martin. 
Hey, and uh, you know what? That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool way to go out. And I will tell you, you know, the next time I talk to you, we'll probably be, you know, Super Bowl champions again. So that's what's up. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, we going we gonna to rank these next time since Prop wants to get down for the get down. Okay. That, that, how, that about, how about this? How about we don't do a final rank until we talk to Prop, but let's just debate some of these things that are going on. Now, he has clearly made it. He has made it clear for him. His number one is Martin. Yeah, so, so we don't, don't know. Who, after that. Now that he said that, it really you know, don't matter what he said about now that. he said that, but how about we look at it and let's do it. If we went with the uh, 11 that we got, I think that I'm going to go right to the middle because I don't think it was the best show in any way whatsoever, but I think it was a show that was needed and it was good. I'm going to put right at, we doing 11, right? So I guess, what do we consider the middle? Five, six, and seven right in there, right? Five, six, I'm going to go at number five, six. Okay. I'm going to go at number six. I'm going to go put, just put them right in the middle and go to Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And... I love that show. It was a funny show, you know, and you know, we, man, we three straight hip hoppers on that. I don't know that it was funnier than at least five of the other shows that we have on there, but just for me, I don't know, this is random, just starting at number six. That's just where I'm starting. And I'm just going to throw in there for me, number six is the uh, Fresh Prince of uh, the Fresh Prince. I just think that was. You know, it was, it was it was it was a cool show. It was a great show. It was a wonderful show. But it ain't my number one. And I'm kind of sitting there right now trying to figure out, hmm, which one would I make my number one? I ain't gonna lie, but I do know where I can place that one. Now, last, I'm gonna go with my last one and read that list off again to me, sir, so I could, cause I I heard it, but I want to make sure I get it right. <clears throat> Good Times, Family Matters, The Jamie Foxx Show, The Steve Harvey stop, Show. Stop, probably stop, do, right? stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Family Matters. Family, Family Matters. Matters. Family Matters is at the bottom. <laughs> Family Matters is at the bottom of my list because I think it was, for me, it was as good of a show as you can get for what you had that ABC would do at that time. I tend to put the shows in... Instead of looking at them as I could today, I take shows like Family Matters for what they were at that moment. And Family Matters was ABC being ABC with black people on it. Yeah. That's what they were. I really liked the show, but the fact that they disrespected it with a non-ending ending, the fact that it didn't really touch anything that I wasn't used to. They they were so formulatic. They were good with it, but it was a formula to me. It was almost like every other black show to attract white viewers, not so much to be black. And that's my, those are the two that I know I can do. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, push away from the microphone and listen to my boy Big because I know he's going to make me think about some shit because he always does. And when he gives me some advice, I can go, okay, now he'll help me push forward to my number one because I am I ain't going to – I'm conflicted. My my top four like that. Go ahead, Big. I'm, I'm done. I, I agree with you on family matters. And I'll go as far as to say is it, it wasn't just formulaic. And I said this about the Cosby show and Daryl got somewhat offended. It was kind of whitewashed. So it was like they just took a white sitcom and put black faces in it. Like it didn't really feel like it didn't feel like it was written for us. It, they put some people in there that look like us. So by proxy, it was for us, but it was not written for us. It didn't have the feel of a Martin or a Living Single. You could tell those shows were written for the black audience. So okay. yeah, I, I agree with with that with the Family Matters at number ten. Um, I think I would have to say, was Moesha still on there? Nope. <laughs> well, what was the other ones? So, fam, Good Times, Family Matters, Jamie Foxx Show, Steve Harvey Show, Blackish with an asterisk, The Cosby Show, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, A Different World, Martin, Sanford and Son, 
Never seen. God damn. You know, if you had a way to screen share, we wouldn't have to keep asking you. Yeah. <laughs> actually, <laughs> because I feel like we're going to keep doing it over and over. Actually, I do. Yeah, I was about to say, we're going to keep asking you over and over. <laughs> you, want me, you want me to whiteboard them? Yeah, that would that would be helpful. Yeah, if you could, yeah, that would never be, you know, like you know, and just uh, oh, kind of like, yeah. Here we go. Uh, excuse my right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now how about this? Uh, while he's doing the uh, uh, uh while he's you know doing what? the whiteboard, you know what? I, will... I can do this different. I can do this different. <laughs> hey. Can you type or just show your paper on the camera? How about that? How about that? How about that? I like the fact that, hey, 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 Big Nub, I'm going to say this. This shit was just so funny. When you said, is Moesha still on there? That shit was hilarious to me because I was like, hey, boy, that, man, I ain't never like that dude, man. I'm going to just tell you, I ain't never like that actor, dude. And they he, he either acts terribly or they give him or he takes the worst fucking roles in Hollywood. That yeah. dude, and I root for black people, man. And you know what? It had a kid from Onyx in it, man, as a special guest and stuff. But I wanted to root for that show. But I was just like, man, I hate that dude. He was very not memorable. That's the problem I had with him as an actor. And that was the problem that it just seemed like on that show, you know what he didn't seem like? He didn't seem like to have the relationship with a girl that I know, the black dads that I know. Yeah. yeah. Man, I just knew all the black dads I know with their daughters. Man, come on, man. They could be putty in their hands and they could be 101 different things, but what they weren't was what he was. Yeah. And that's just, you know, real talk from me. And I, I you know, I know y'all know. I mean, I know y'all know because we all know black women and they daddy. Yeah. You know, it seemed like to me, he was harder on the guys that came in the door. He was just as hard on those guys as he was with his daughter versus that's my little princess. And I know there's because I know there's a lot of guys out here that'll tell you, boy, he don't know his daughter's a hoe. I'm just, you know, I'm gonna say that. You know, they blame it all on the I'll, they blame will, it all um, on the guy. I know? will have <laughs> I will have graphics ready next week when when or next okay. time we do this. I I have everything okay. ready, but let me uh, just want to comment real quick because we got about about fifteen minutes left. Um, so what I'm gonna comment on real quick is most popular lists. If you Google black sitcoms or if you go to a list, blah blah blah, this that and the other, whatever list you go to, because I've been researching and I guarantee you, <clears throat> at the top of your list or close to the top of your list. Whatever list you go look at is going to be Cosby either, show. either or both the Cosby Show or the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Okay, those are what most people, the average person, puts as the most iconic black sitcom ever. Blah blah blah, so on and so forth. Um, but for them heads that know, that like to laugh, that 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 like funny, okay, um, those will probably be two and three for, for folks like us, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, for, or, or further down the list, but I'm just letting you know, those are the popular. So when you hear yeah. folks making comments and folks saying, oh, how come y'all did and why? That's what we're going to be looking at because the conventional list, what, what most people think is like the funniest sitcoms of all time are those two. Um, and as far as and as far as what uh, Nub was saying about the Cosby Show being whitewashed, I was thinking about that after we had that conversation, and I said to myself, "Wait a minute, Bill Cosby took the formula from shows like Leave It to Beaver, exactly. I Love Lucy, and Father Knows Best, and did exactly what you said, Nub." He just took black people and put yeah. black people in them Leave it to Beaver, Father Knows Best, My Three Sons type of situations. And because that was like a 50s type of thing, it was wholesome and clean. And that was something, you know, everybody looked at like, oh, those are really wholesome, clean black people. Yeah. We like them. Your grandparents went to college. Your parents went to college. And now, except for Lisa Bonet, all the other kids is going to college. You know, so you, you get that clean 
squeaky clean, wholesome look. And that's a good look for black people. But for like folks like Nub and, and to a certain degree, folks like me, it's somewhat unrealistic, you know, because I, I thought about it real hard. And I said to myself, I don't, I don't know people like that. And, 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 and I don't know if it's because I'm sheltered or, <laughs> or because I don't get around. But when I think about it logically, it's like, nah, I don't know no motherfuckers like Cliff Huxtable. You know what I'm saying? I don't, and, and if they are like Cliff Huxtable, they got to look ninja in them. I mean, like yeah. real ninja. Because I make too much money to be putting up with the bullshit that you folks is trying to make. All the people that I knew that might have been like the Huxtables were interesting because those are the people that we might visit on Easter. <laughs> You know, you know how you go out to a family member's house or whatever, you know. Now, yeah. they may never yeah. visit you. They may never visit you. But, you know, they like that. And also, you know, hey, man, don't get me wrong. I respect the show for what it's worth. And I also believe it kind of became iconic because of what hip hop was doing to the world and what black men were doing to the world at the same time by doing both things at once. And, man, a lot of us were deciding we were going to come up and we didn't give a damn how. Yeah. And then a lot of us were deciding that we were going to come up and we were going to take the educational route. And then a lot of us decided we were going to come up and we were going to be part of the talented 10th. And that was basketball. And that was football. And that was baseball. And that was rap. That was being the guy that, you know, what we call them now today, we call tastemakers. But see, those kids, man, they were doing it. I mean, because, you know, Run DMC was out there, man, but Run DMC wasn't conforming. You know, and then everybody tell you all your life, well, you can't expect to be them. Everybody tell you all your life, you can't expect to be Michael Jordan. Man, these kids out here, man, they AA, you and they ass off right now. And they so, doing it because they saw, you know, they saw what was coming up. And I saw why it would, I believe, Especially after watching, I don't know if you guys have watched it, but on Showtime, there is a uh, special called The Reagans. And if you guys, it's a four-part series called The Reagans. If you get a chance, please watch it. I believe that our television stations, as well as the government, was trying to push something upon us. And Bill Cosby was smart enough to catch on to it and be that. And that TV show is fun. There are, you know, I love when, uh, uh, because I remember some of those episodes, you know, in my hand. You know, I remember when Vanessa went with her friends to go see The Wretched. You know, that was a group up in, uh, she went all the way to Baltimore. And the apartment building that she was supposed to be with her friends at had a fire. And the parents called the house and nobody answered, but when they did get a call back, they left a message on the answer machine. <laughs> and uh, uh, they called the, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, they called the Huxables back. Long story, whatever. It was a funny situation because I could see that happening to anybody black. Especially because you know how your mama told you, you know, I mean, I know you big nub. You know, where you going? I'm going over Daryl's house. You're going over Daryl's house. Oh, now that's where your motherfucking ass better, better be. be. That's where you better be. You better not be. You better not have. You better not have stopped at Daryl's house, and now your motherfucking ass is over Carmelita's house. That's not the way that shit. Goes. Let me say this real quick before we run out of time. And in, in the comment to what Daryl said about the, at the top of the, a lot of the traditional list being the Cosby Show and Fresh Prince. I'm gonna ask you the same question I asked when we had our hip hop debate. Would those two shows? still be at the top of the list if they didn't have that machine behind them? Probably you know absolutely I mean? not. No, absolutely like, not. Right. Absolutely so, not, no. When, when we're talking about greatest sitcoms of all times, to me, they may be the most popular sitcoms of all times, but I struggle to put them at the greatest sitcoms of all times. Oh, I wasn't oh, saying does that this was not I take know, us. I know, but I'm just saying that was what I believe. On the top all of I'm saying, lists. all I'm saying, all I'm saying up is I was stating a fact, and that's a fact. If you go no. to Google and look, that's all I'm saying. I ain't saying that's what I think. No, I'm right, right, saying, okay, right, right, right. I'm saying, when those people did they list, were they looking for the greatest or the most popular sitcoms of all times? Because if they truly are two of the most popular hmm. sitcoms of all times. 
and even crossed over. Like, I mean, both those crossed over to an extent. So, you know, I'm sure that has a lot to do with how long they were on TV and, you know, why they were in prime time. You know, they were safe shows. What names were attached to them? Yeah. What name, were, what those names were, meant to most people that voted for it? Yeah, that, that, that's why they were, they were safe yeah. to them. That's why they, they and then when they became. Well, if we talk about, if we talk about something like, I'm sorry, I mean to interrupt you, but Go if ahead. we talk about something like a list that's in something like complex, okay, who who's doing complex is what you got to think about. Who who what's the average age of writers on the complex staff? Yeah. Them's like 20s and 30 year olds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and so their era, Cosby Show, yeah. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. So naturally, they're going to think that's the greatest thing since sliced bread, just like we think, damn, San Francisco is still fun. Damn, Martin's still fun. You know what I'm saying? So it's a it's a relative thing, I, I believe. Not it necessarily was, a fact. I'm, I'm, yes. I, I want to give, if I could, I want to interrupt you for a minute, Daryl. First of all, I love you brothers, and especially Prof. You know, I love him for getting off here and, you know, leaving the real brothers on here. <laughs> Tell him I said it. Uh, he got to watch it. Hear it. <laughs> nah, I'm just, uh, nah, I know. I, you know I'm messing with him. I love that boy. But, uh, uh, Big Doug, I find that interesting, the way you did that, because I remember using that exact same thing about in rap you for Jay-Z. I said you did. I'm you just, did. No, I'm, I, you know, I, it, it's, I said it's like, interesting. Like, like, when I, could you, could you, pop show. No, yeah, I remember that. No, yeah. I, I you know, and, and I'm not, now, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not dissing or nothing like that. I'm just saying that I would go, you know, recency bias, I think sometimes, and then name bias can be bigger. Yeah. And, you know, when somebody started something, it's like, you know, if you ask, I don't care who you ask, if they're, if they were 90 years old today, I don't give a fuck if they saw Michael Jordan and all of his thing or LeBron James, you ask them who was the best basketball player they ever saw, they're probably going to say Wilt Chamberlain. That's what they're going to say because they're 95 years old. Right. Then you go in and it becomes relative as to where you go. Bill Cosby has the one thing that, that the rest of them, that everybody else doesn't. Bill Cosby is there for the proliferation of television to become the biggest thing in our life at one point to then become basically today with these kids pointless. But People know what he meant at the time. The 80s was a great time for television all the way around. It was actually a time when the M and MTV meant what it said. Yeah. And that is where I go, you know, I think that's why it will always be at the top of a lot of people's list. Plus, y'all know our parents are bougie. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. They bougie, man. They gonna love that boy. And the Fresh Prince, oh, they gonna love that little light-skinned boy getting his life together when he goes out there with his judge uncle. Hmm. Ain't that so sweet? They took him out of the ghettos of Philadelphia. Hmm. And they made him, and they helped him out get somewhere. Oh, man, that's wonderful. And a lot of black people don't want to deal with good times. A lot of black people don't want to deal with that. And like I said to y'all, man, James couldn't keep a job. A nigga that woke up every day before dawn, looked in the motherfucking newspaper. How did he get that newspaper in a high rise? He had to buy that fucking newspaper some kind of way. He woke up every fucking day and his wife woke up and put on something orange. How did he afford all that orange different shit every week for her? He went out here and he got her something orange every day that she could do. She made him breakfast and everything, man. And he went out and found a job. If he got a job after three days on one 30 minute episode, the motherfucker lost the job. That's bullshit. And we know it. But guess what? It was funny, but some of us don't want to see the funny and the pain. And a lot of us don't want to admit that that's from which we came. Mm, nigga, I wrote that like a rapper and didn't even write it. Hey. But y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know what I mean. And, okay. And, okay. Nigga, that, it just that, came that, off that. the dome. Okay. Um, I, I, I called you back. All right. Um, that, um... <laughs> Wait out the motherfucking gutter, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Man, fuck, 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 talk your ass out the window. <laughs> fuck, fuck, 
fuck that ever joined the way down. Anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, straight out the motherfucking gutter, I open my shutter, I cut a brother ass nigga with a box cutter, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now this this is going to be continued. Is it gonna be continued next week? Or are we gonna continue at another time? You want me to collaborate with y'all on that? That's totally up to you, sir. You are the producer. All right. Let's will, collab and yeah, let's collab right, and I, come I, up I, with. I will get at y'all. Um, this 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 have been be real with D real for uh 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 the sixth of February, um, two thousand twenty one. I'm gonna be back. We are gonna continue. We definitely are going to continue this conversation right here. Y'all stay up, stay black, be good, and be good to each other.